This Saturday marks six years since the Southside explosion, which killed a young couple and left behind millions of dollars worth of damage. The father of one of the victims is now on a mission that he believes will save many lives in the future. Rafael Sanchez has been following the developments connected to Richmond Hill since 2012. Raf. Uh, Mark, good afternoon. John Longworth lost his son Dion and his da daughter-in-law Jennifer in that explosion in Richmond Hill. Mr. Longworth is now on a campaign he hopes will save many lives. The Richmond Hill explosion was a criminal act. It was triggered after people filled a home with gas, which led to that big blast. The aftermath destroyed homes and killed that young couple. Now, Longworth is asking utilities statewide to install access flow valves and other technology that may detect when a home is being filled accidentally or intentionally with natural gas. Longworth met with Citizens Energy Group and is hoping to prevent any similar disasters. I would love to, to be able to come in and be one of the people that worked with the gas industry to coordinate and get some of this done because I would feel like I was uh, doing something in memory of Dion and Jennifer who both, had, I heard them state at least once each of them that they wanted to leave a mark and they wanted to do something that made a difference for the world. And, uh, and you're ready to do that? I'm ready to, to work on that. Citizens Energy expressed an interest to look further into the matter. A spokesperson tells RTV6 this afternoon that advanced metering infrastructure is an evolving technology that we are monitoring and is now just being developed and tested for their potential to detect and or react to leaks on customer piping. Citizens goes on to say that safety is always our top priority. We have invested more than $650 million in our gas pipeline system over the past 30 years. Thanks to these investments, more than 99% of our pipeline system now meets newer stringent federal safety standards. Now, Citizens did tell me that it looked at the cost of installing those advanced meter technology back in 2012 after the explosion to its 300,000 customers. It would have cost at the time $103 million. But And at the time, and currently, they tell me the technology would not shut off gas service if too much is detected inside a home, but they'll continue to monitor the situation. As Mark mentioned, this Saturday, November the 10th, marks six years since the explosion. Mark Leonard, who you see there, considered the ringleader. He died this past January while in state custody. His brother Bob also got a life sentence. Monserrati Shirley, Mark's then-girlfriend, who owned the home that blew up and got 50 years in prison. Mark Thompson, who you see there, he helped blow up the home. He got 20 years. And Glenn Hultz, who's right there, he knew about the plot and watched Shirley's daughter as the Leonard brothers prepared the arson. He got three years. He served nine months in custody. Mr. Longworth is hoping to continue his discussion with citizens and make a difference.